Kathy provided us with text messages she sent to the Liberty police officer who handled her case. The officer said, quote, Things were swept under the rug, and people have to live with the decisions they made and the things they didn't do anything about. I tried to advocate for you, but I was told to stay out of it and mind my business. The officer wouldn't respond to questions as to who told her to stay out of it. Back to Kathy. My roommate was a lifesaver through all of this. She emailed Jerry Jr. We have the emails. I expected more from Liberty. Kathy and her roommate, who we'll call Tracy, provided us with the emails. The following email chain begins with a message from Tracy to Jerry Falwell Jr., as well as his brother, Jonathan Falwell, who is Liberty's current campus pastor. I'm writing to you regarding concerns that my roommate and I have about Liberty and its safety. Before I go further, I will say that I have presented this issue to everyone I could at Liberty before writing to you. Our concern is that there needs to be security cameras and call buttons put into the tunnel that leads to and from East Campus. There also needs to be better lighting on main campus and East Campus. My roommate was sexually assaulted last semester on East Campus, and I feel things wouldn't have been so bad had there been better safety measures. A lot of things need to change because safety is important, and it gets harder and harder to watch my roommate be treated as if her situation doesn't matter. Jerry Falwell Jr. responds. Tracy, thank you for your email. We are working now to have more lighting installed. I'll ask for an update and get back with you. You mentioned that you're working to get more lighting installed, which is great. But my main request is for call buttons or cameras in and at the ends of the tunnel. I've been given the runaround for exactly six months regarding the cameras, which is very disheartening to my roommate and I, as we want to feel that we are cared about by the university, even though we're just two students. This whole situation has had a huge impact on both of our lives. Tracy, I doubt if the tunnel would be a logical place for camera-based security. It is well lit and has good visibility from one end to the other. Not the best environment for criminal activity. Thanks and Merry Christmas. Judging from that email I just received, I don't believe you're aware of the situation that occurred last semester. My roommate was walking from main campus to east through the tunnel. She was met on the other side where she was raped. Judging from that incident, it seems that the tunnel is an environment for criminal activity. This is a whole lot more serious than anyone from LU seems to understand. Cameras are essential. Tracy, people who have not seen the tunnel and how well lit it is often comment that it seems dangerous. But once they see it, most agree that it is safer than most places on campus. Mr. Falwell, I find it very inconsiderate that not once throughout this whole ordeal, almost one year long now, has anyone said that they were sorry to hear about what happened. A girl was gang raped when she came out of that tunnel. And that was my roommate and best friend. And I am so frustrated that no one here seems to care about what she's gone through. Falwell Jr. lets Tracy know that the chief of the Liberty Police Department is working on a report about lighting and safety on campus. Tracy, please wait on his report. I'm sure he will do what is necessary to keep LU's crime rate much lower than other universities. Neither Tracy nor Kathy remember ever receiving any report about campus security. 